Good morning, it's day 12. I'm gonna be doing this until day 14. So I'm picking out of our little thing again, and today I am in my house um, in Chesapeake, and we have a condo in Charlottesville. We're selling our house in Chesapeake, but it hasn't sold yet. So also, my ankle might be a little bit funny because the little thing that holds my phone on my tripod to make my videos broke, and I've gotta go see if I can get a new one today. So that's why it might be, I might be at a strange angle because uh, I don't know anybody videotape me. So today I picked T25 Cardio. So that's the one I'm gonna do. And the T25 Cardio, I actually have that program T25, but the Cardio one is on the sneak peek. So I'm gonna do that one and we'll see how that goes. It's a really good program, it's only 25 minutes. Um, the only thing I don't like about the T25 is that it's all cardio and I need that strength training because I wanna keep my muscles. But um, I did do T25 all the way through before I tore my ACL when I was, I think I was 51 when I tore my ACL or maybe I was 52. Um, and it was an awesome program. It was great for my lower abs and it was great for my legs. I had really good strong leg muscles. So I guess that was good because when I tore my ACL, I atrophied because I was in that cast that goes from you know your hip to your ankle. Um, so that leg atrophied and the other one did a little bit but not a lot because I still did stuff with it. But it was great because it really got me in shape before that. So I will see you shortly and let's do some work. Okay, so T25 is in the sneak peek area. All right, so here's uh, T25 cardio and we're going to do this one today. Hey, I hope you can see the sweat. T25 will work up a sweat for you, I believe me. So one great thing about this program and several of our others is that there is a modifier. So if you can't jump because of your knees or you just don't want to jump, you want a little bit lower impact, but you still want to work up a good sweat, then Tanya on this one modifies for you. And you do not have to jump at all. You can just step everything out. She shows you how to do that. So all these workouts, or most of them, at least the newer ones like P90X3, um, a lot of those have modifiers in them. And even Shalene Extreme, I believe, has one in it. So you can always watch the modifier. And if you have to modify more than that, then you just do that. It's like really no big deal. The goal is that you want to get up and get moving and do a great workout. And again, when you follow the programs, the schedules, you really see results. So T25 really strengthened my legs and it strengthened my lower abs, gave me really great lower abs. So it's a great program. Um, and I like this program, it's a really good one. And it's only 25 minutes, did I say that? So other thing I just wanted to touch on is what are you eating? What you eat is really important. So if you're in here on Beachbody On Demand, remember that there is a nutrition guide for every single program. And what does that mean? It means that there's all kinds of healthy recipes. They tell you in there things that you wanna be eating, things that you wanna avoid. Um, because when you're trying to lose weight, the more processed you eat, the harder it is to lose weight. When you go and eat whole foods, so things like a banana, an apple, um, kale, lettuce, broccoli, those are whole foods. They don't have other ingredients. There's just that one ingredient. When you eat more whole foods, you'll see that your weight will start dropping off. When you buy processed foods, you really need to read the ingredients. So it's not like I never buy processed because I do, but I read the ingredients. And if there are things in there that I really don't know what they are, like red dye one, you know, yellow five. I don't want that in my body because really what happens, and this sounds kind of gross, but 
your liver can only process so much. And if you're putting a lot of processed in, it can't process everything. And when it gets overloaded, it pushes all those toxins and stuff into your fat. And it just sits there unless you do some kind of um, detox program. And you can do a detox just with food by changing how you're eating. So, and also the way you're eating, like when you're eating your protein, carbs, and fat. So it's really something to think about. It's really important that you read the ingredient list. People get stuck on the labels, and so they read the label, and it might say it has, you know, 15 grams of fat. Well, it really depends what kind of fat that is, because if that's coconut oil fat, then, you know, I'm okay with that because that's a healthy saturated fat. Um, so it really just depends what's in there, what you are eating. So please read your ingredient lists. Um, I talk about that a lot in my clean eating groups that I do, and I tell you when you change how you eat, I've had women lose between like two and seven pounds in just five days because they're learning what not to eat and what to eat. That's the importance, and the nutrition guides help you figure that out too. So definitely get in there and check them out, plus they have great recipes, and we can always use a great recipe. So let us know what workout you did. I hope you got one in today. I am hot and sweaty. And I'm going to go make my breakfast. So hope you're having a great weekend. See ya.